Forward. This book is the fruit of nearly 20 years' work in the domain of practical psychology. It is a gradual intellectual structure, equally compounded by numberless impressions and experiences in the practice of psychiatry and nervous maladies, and of intercourse with men of all social levels. It is a product, therefore, of my personal dealings with friend and with foe. And finally, it has a further source in the criticism of my own psychological particularity. I do not propose to burden the reader with casuistry. It is, however, incumbent upon me to link up the ideas derived from experience, both historically and terminologically, with already existing knowledge. I have done this not so much from a sense of historical justice as from a desire to bring the experiences of the medical specialists out of narrow professional limits into more general relations, relations which will enable the educated lay mind to make use of the experiences of a specialized terrain. I would never have ventured to attempt this expansion, which might well be misunderstood as an encroachment upon other spheres, were I not convinced that the psychological points of view presented in this book are of wide significance and application, and are therefore better treated in a general connection than left in the form of a specialized scientific hypothesis. With this aim in view, I have confined myself to a discussion of the ideas of a few workers in the field of the problem under review, and have omitted to mention all that has already been said concerning our problem in general. Quite apart from the fact that to catalogue such a collection of correlated material and views with even bare adequacy would far exceed my powers, the inventory, when completed, would make no sort of fundamental contribution to the discussion and development of the problem. Without regret, therefore, I have omitted much that I have collected in the course of years, confining myself as far as possible to the main questions. A most valuable document that afforded me great help has also been sacrificed in this renunciation. This is a bulky correspondence which I exchanged with my friend, Dr. H. Mitt of Alls, concerning the question of types. I owe a great deal to this interchange of ideas, and much of it, though of course in an altered and greatly revised form, has gone into my book. This correspondence belongs essentially to the stage of preparation, and its inclusion would create more confusion than clarity. But I owe it to the labors of my friend to express many thanks to him here. C. G. Jung, Kuznach, Zurich, Spring, 1920 End of Section 1